Okay, welcome to the uh, Project for Draft Pattern Search. Your task for this project is to use regular expressions to discover and modify information from the provided, that should be text. The project is broken into two sections. Determine the number of non-alphanumeric characters in the lorem underscore ipsum string. Replace all instances of dash or a colon with a space in the words sit and amit. So for this uh, project, I've already completed it. I didn't go back and uh, delete everything to retype everything to show you guys because I wanted to do this kind of quickly. So for the purposes of getting this done fast, I'm just going to show you the code and explain to you why the code is there. So <clears throat> the first thing they're asking us to do is uh, when doing a pattern search is to import the module regular expression so if you see up here they've already done that for you it's already provided but if that wasn't there this wouldn't work so just make sure you have your import <coughs> provided for you on the left is the lorem ipsum string that's this here your lorem ipsum string and this is just a paragraph the string you will be using to change as you go through this programming activities in this course unit. Find all the instances of non-alphanumeric characters in the string assigned. Use the caret symbol, that's what that is right there, and use your brackets, regular expression operator, along with the find all regular expression function. Assign the outcome to a variable named results output to the console the number of non-alphanumeric characters hint use the length function okay so over here we've created our regular expression variable and as you can see <coughs> we have the brackets we have the caret symbol and we're saying uh, lowercase a to z uppercase a to z and all numeric numbers the uh, backslash d as you can see here is a digit character You're, this is uh, this 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 whole uh, variable could be written written like this except uh, here you'd put the uh, caret symbol now i just want to say the caret symbol inside of brackets okay so you have the brackets you have that caret symbol there is is a is a non-operator is an exclusion so what this caret is saying exclude all these letters lowercase a to z uppercase a to z and numeric zero to nine so ex exclude those from your regular expressions that's what that means so when you come down here and you say uh, results regular expression find all find all instances of this which is here inside lorem ipsum which is here okay so this is going to find all the um, commas and periods and you know, all your punctuation but not only will it find your punctuation it will also count white space so this is also going to count the white space as character so when you come down here and you print length result you're gonna get 144 as you can see and the reason it's so high is because not only is it counting your punctuation it is also counting your white space so keep that in mind that when you're doing this uh, when you're creating this regular expression variable you're also looking at white space or blank space so i'm going to just uh, hit the uh, check it so that you guys can see that it's working <coughs> and it's working so we're going to move on to the next page here okay <coughs> on this one it's asking us to use the regular expression find all function Get all the instances of sit dash amit or sit colon amit 
characters in the string, assigned to lorem ipsum, assign the outcome to a variable named occurrences underscore sit underscore omit, output to the console the number of sit dash omit or sit colon omit occurrences. So over here again, we're going to create our regular expression variable. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for sit bracket, either a dash, either a colon, bracket, omit. And then we're going to go down here and create the variable occurrence sit omit. So here we use the find all function for regular expressions. So re dot find all parentheses this is what we're looking for. Every occurrence of sit dash or colon omit. And this is where we're looking up here. So it's pretty simple as you can see. You're just creating the variable. You're making it equal to what you find. And then down here, <coughs> you print length and you have three occurrences. So if we come over here and we press check it. Eventually it will pass and there it does. So we'll move on to the next page here. Okay, on the next page, <coughs> replace sit omit, sit, I'm sorry, replace sit colon omit and sit dash omit with just sit space omit using the regular expression substitute function. Assign the outcome to a variable name replace results. So over here, again, we have the regular expression sit and we're using the brackets dash colon dash or colon bracket omit. So it's going to find all occurrences of this. That's what it's looking for. So here, <coughs> using the find all function, get all the instances of sit omit in the string. Let's see if assigned to replace results. So here we're going to create the variable replace results. We're going to use regular expression substitute. And we're going to substitute any time we see this with this. So that's what we're substituting. We're just putting the space there. And again, this is where we're looking. So will we look for this, this occurrence? We replace it with this. And this is where we're doing it at in this variable. So again, then we come down here and we set up occurrence under underscore sit underscore omit equals regular expression comma or ipsum and then we come down here and we print length occurrence underscore sit underscore omit and we come over here we press next and we'll press check it and it'll pass we'll come down to the next completing your project and so in this uh in this i removed their comments and i put my comments in here if i could ever get this and grab it there we go and um, you're just copying and pasting your previous files. So you see your files up here. You just go there and copy and paste those files over here. Remove their comments. Put your own comments. And just download it and submit it. And if you have any questions... Uh, you can email me at james.cross at sn snhu.edu or my personal email james.usvx at gmail.com. And uh, I try to get, get to those questions within 24 hours. Sometimes I'm doing something and I can't answer them right away. But if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or put a comment. I'll be happy to do my best to help. I'm not going to say I can answer all your questions, but I'll do my best. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching this video.